we passed the Evidence Special Measures Act last year, which among other things provided for vulnerable witnesses like the victims of lottery scams to be able to give evidence in local court proceedings remotely from whatever state that they operate in or they live in rather um, without having the inconvenience, uh, particularly for an elderly person for having to travel to Jamaica for court proceedings. We uh, amended Schedule 2 of poker by order to include some of the offenses, uh, larger scam related offenses um, under poker and this again would facilitate the forfeiture of the illicit assets that the scammers would have gained from their activities. And third and most important was the, um, the act that we, we passed in the House last week and is scheduled for passage through the Senate tomorrow. And so there is a specific provision um, that we added. In fact, it was an amendment. And that provides, I think, for up to 25 years uh, imprisonment uh, of conviction. So we have been very active on the uh, operational enforcement side, on the legislative side. And since October last year, we've also embarked on a full-scale public education program um, because <clears throat> we have identified some ambivalence within, particularly within some communities where the larger scam operates about this activity. And there's been a lot of uh, propaganda that, quite sophisticated propaganda that the scammers use to confuse the public about the legitimacy of this activity. So we've been running ads on uh, TV and radio um, <clears throat> since October, running right through to January or February this year, really highlighting that this is a crime, highlighting the impact on the victims, highlighting the, uh, the damage it is doing to Jamaica's reputation and to our legitimate businesses. I want to just also say that it is very, very important for every Jamaica to feel a responsibility for this. Because somebody knows who's doing this, and so there can be a kind of decision that we're going to turn this around as individual Jamaicans, we'll help the government, we'll help my government, and most importantly, we'll help the victims, and it will help Jamaica continue to move forward with its wonderful brand of hospitality, friendliness, and goodwill. Thank you very much.